Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. And today it is time to wrap up 2022, celebrating some of the best skincare of the year, in my experience and in my opinion. So if you guys are so ready for my roundup, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So let's start off with cleansers and I actually only have one to share because I've been pretty loyal to my old cleanser favorites but one new one is from CeraVe this is their hydrating cream to foam cleanser now this is such a great example of the cream to foam cleansing trend which is something I'm really loving in skincare right now this is such a gentle moisturizing cleanser that still has the full capabilities of a foaming cleanser to clean your face effectively Effectively. And my skin just loves this because I crave that moisture. I crave that comfort that this cleanser gives. So, you know, crave like a nice deep but gentle clean. And that's exactly what this does all in one little bottle, all in one little formula. And it's definitely going up there as one of my favorite gentle but effective cleansers. Next, let's talk about toners. And you know I've got a few picks here because this is my favorite category of skincare product. Let's start off with the Rye. Lab 1025 Docto Toner. OMG. <laughs> you know, I didn't think that this was going to be very deeply hydrating. It's a very thin type of toner. It doesn't have a lot of body. It's a very minimal formula, but boy, I was wrong. It actually has some little magic in it that this little watery thin toner just really dives deep into your skin and really gives it this refreshing, replenishing feel. It's very, very hydrating. And I have a high, you know, standard for toners. You know me, you know your friend Kelly. I'm very picky and this definitely blew me away uh, this is something that I am going to be buying over and over again it is a deeply hydrating toner at a really affordable price Another affordable toner that I discovered this year is the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. Now, I think this was a new product for 2022, and like, man, CeraVe really nailed it this year. You know, I have to say, in my experience, you know I love toners. I really just think that especially K-Beauty, but Asian Beauty in general, does hydrating toners exceptionally well. And I feel like the rest of the skincare world, you know, is trying to catch up to that. I picked this one up at my local Ulta this spring for about $12, so an excellent affordable price. And I wasn't expecting much, but like CeraVe really delivered on this formula. Not only is it barrier supportive, which you would expect from CeraVe, right? We've got the ceramides and the barrier supportive ingredients in here, but it's such a refreshing, light, watery texture that just feels so good on the skin. It's really really hydrating living up to its name now let's talk about the good all vegan rice milk moisturizing toner it moisturizes your skin with this more like body gel type of of texture it's really slippery between your fingers but it's not creamy and milky like you would think it is and yet when you get it onto your skin it does have this comforting like conditioning moisture to it, it really kind of envelops your skin in a really beautiful little hug of like thick gel like moisture but it's also hydrating it's also plumping it makes your skin feel really juicy at the same time it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel like extra rich or emollient or thick on top so they've managed to achieve moisturization without any greasiness without overwhelming the skin and I just think that that is really unique in the world of moisturizing toners which are really picking up in popularity and I'm very happy about that but they're not going to be right for all all skin types and yet this more gel like consistency with the vegan rice milk I think is actually going to suit a bigger variety of skin types than your traditional creamy emollient moisturizing toners do now talking about a little bit more of a traditional moisturizing toner Purito recently came out with their oat in silky toner and I am absolutely head over heels for this product they have done such an amazing job with this now this is more of your traditional milky texture. It's really runny. It has a touch of hydration to it and it's really moisturizing, but they have been able to achieve that non-greasy feel. This isn't something that feels really thick on top of your skin. It feels really like light, but really comforting on the skin. It really fills in all the dry areas of your face, really, really soothing it. The oat really has that soothing ability to calm down your skin. It just, in the dead of winter, it just feels like a nice, gentle, comforting 
comforting hug on your skin. Next, let's move on to the best serums of the year. And I have to kick things off with the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. You know, my skin does not like vitamin C at all. Um, pure ascorbic acid just really makes my skin itchy <laughs> and really irritates it. Like it's such a FOMO experience for me because I know that like vitamin C is an amazing ingredient for so many reasons. And there's so many people in my life that have benefited tremendously from vitamin C. And I'm like, you go, you go get that vitamin C girl. But then I'm sitting here in the rain like, oh, I can't use it. This product is using stabilized forms of vitamin C, which is actually something that my skin takes to very well. The irritation is really just non-existent with stabilized forms in my experience. And this serum is so gentle, but it is so effective. I mean, just the first night that I used it, um, the next morning I woke up and I was like, wow, my complexion just looks so like glowy and so even and so bright. And it really does help to fade hyperpigmentation. It just seems like faster. It's a really powerful combination that they have in this serum. Next up is the Medi Heal Baobab Soothing Moisture Serum. And ooh, this texture is so good. I am such a sucker for serums that both moisturize and hydrate my skin all at the same time. And that's exactly what this does. It feels so good on the skin. It really plumps it up with so much hydration. It's so juicy. But then right at the end of like it absorbing into your skin, you just feel that comforting hug of moisture. It's not super rich, but it just kind of envelops your skin and it feels so good, especially if your skin is very dehydrated. This is a great serum and that's especially when I was using this was when my skin was very dehydrated at the tail end of winter and it just made my skin feel so good because not only does it replenish the skin with hydration, it brings in all the barrier supportive ingredients as well um, to really help mend your skin, to make your barrier stronger and to help fight dehydration right at the root, right at the source of the problem, which is a weak moisture barrier. Barrier. So I really love the formulation of the serum. I love the juicy texture and definitely one of the best that I've tried this year. Now another juicy texture that I just can't get enough of is the Biosound Squalolane and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> My skin just drinks this up. It feels so refreshing and it just, it really has that bouncy quality to it. And when I say bouncy, I mean it makes your skin bouncy. It feels really really, really juicy, really, really hydrating. And then again, just that little hint of moisture that really just helps lock all that hydration in. It feels amazing. This also has copper peptide in it, which is one of my favorite well aging peptides like of all time because it is so good for helping stimulating some collagen on the skin. It can help with the depth of fine lines and wrinkles. It can actually also help with the like tone and clarity of your skin. It can really help to even out and brighten up your skin and give you a little bit more of that healthier type of glow to your skin. It's just an all over great peptide to build into your skincare routine for healthier, younger looking skin. So I love that they've combined that really powerful ingredient into this really juicy, hydrating texture with just that little bit of moisture to lock everything in and give you that plump, dewy, glowy skin. And I have to talk about the Neod non-acid precursor. This is such an interesting product, something I've wanted to try for a really long time and I finally got my hands on it and I've been loving it because this is basically a gentle alternative to chemical exfoliation. So this actually has really similar benefits benefits to AHA and supposedly, this is more of a long-term benefit, it has some of the benefits like a retinol would have for your skin, but it's so much more gentle. It doesn't cause as much irritation, dehydration, redness, inflammation on the skin. You can potentially use this more often, or just if you're sensitive to exfoliation, which I am, um, I've been able to work this into my routine with really no problems whatsoever. And one of my favorite ways to use it is to target enlarged pores around my nose and like that butterfly 
highlight area around my cheeks. And wow, this really helps to degunk <laughs> that area, which is what makes the pores look really enlarged in the first place, right? So it really actually helps to degunk that and really helps to refine that texture and really smooth out that skin so that the pores do appear to be more refined and smaller. Amazing. But it's also been helpful for just congestion on my skin as well, or just when I need like a little bit of a glow, a little bit of like a dead skin cell shedding. This gives you that really nice, like freshly exfoliated look without the irritation. And one of my favorite new releases of 2022 was the Allies of Skin PSA Liquid Panacea. Now Allies of Skin is a brand I really like, I really admire, but I can hardly ever afford. <laughs> Their products do tend to be on the pricier side. The nice thing about that is they almost always perform. So that's the one thing I always look for in expensive products is like, do, do they actually deliver? And Allies of Skin has always delivered, but that doesn't mean that they're super accessible and affordable for everybody. So they recently came out with their PSA line, which is a more affordable version, more of like a mid-range line to their more expensive, higher range line. And the Liquid Panacea is part of that more affordable line. You could easily underestimate this because because the main ingredients here are centella and kombucha, which are great for skin health, but like maybe they don't like blow your mind. This serum kind of blew my mind, starting with the texture. I love a creamy but hydrating texture. Have you not noticed from all the serums that I'm rounding up as my favorites? So good. If your skin is a little bit dehydrated, thirsty, and kind of just like seeking for a little bit of moisture, because you know, moisture really kind of locks in that hydration. This texture just like fills your skin up and just like comforts it. It feels so, so good on the skin. But the benefits are actually really amazing. Like with long-term use, my skin just felt a lot stronger, uh, less dehydrated, less prone to irritation. Um, it actually helps a lot with redness too. I get some natural redness on my skin. This really helped to reduce that. Now let's move on to eye creams. And this is a category of product that I've gotten a lot more serious about in the last year. And I discovered two that like really won my heart over. So the first one is the Polish Choice C5 super boost eye cream. Now this was something I didn't think I was going to like. Um, it was sent to me by the brand and I was like, yeah, another vitamin C product that I can't use. <laughs> Cause I told you like my skin doesn't like it. Um, however, diving into the ingredients, I found out that they're actually using the stabilized form of vitamin C for their eye cream. And that was like, okay, I think I can try this out. And I am so glad that I did because this brightens the under eye area so well, so, so, so effectively. You know, vitamin C is really great for brightening up hyperpigmentation, but it can also help with uh, dark, like under eye circles. It also helps to stimulate collagen and it's such a potent antioxidant that helps to protect your skin from sun damage in combination with sunscreen, of course, but it's a really great um, way to give yourself a little extra boost with your sun protection. So it sounds like everything you wanna put around your eyes, right? That area is a lot more delicate, more prone to sun damage and to fine lines and wrinkles. And you know, sometimes you don't get your sleep. Sometimes like me, you know, you're just, it's just genetic. It's just in your genes to have a little bit of discoloration in the under eye area. Not much you can do about it, but I have found that the vitamin C really helps to revitalize that and really make things look a lot more fresh and a lot more awake and a lot more alive when I'm not feeling that way at all, but at least I look it right. So this has been so, so helpful, especially for brightening up the under eye area. But of course, there was a new eye cream launch recently this year that got everybody on the internet super excited because it's from our favorite viral K-Beauty brand, and that is the Beauty of Josan Revive Eye Serum Ginseng Plus Retinol. Boy, this stuff is so, so good for many reasons. So it's using retinol, which is spelled with an A, not an O. I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to really pronounce that A for you. Um, so it has retinol in it, which is basically more a potent or faster acting uh, form of retinol. It is a derivative of vitamin A. So you're gonna get all that collagen stimulating, some of the brightening that comes with that. Um, so really potent, great uh, ingredient to use for the under eye or the top of the eye for all your well aging needs. It does help to brighten. I will say the Polish Choice does it better. It does help to brighten, but like, 
man, the retinol is really strong in here and it really does smooth and firm the eye area really nicely. I was very impressed with the benefits of this. I've been using this just a few times a week because that's all I can really handle. Um, and it's been quite a few months now, like my, my tube's almost empty at this point and it's got really good benefits. And I find the formula, you have to find your tolerance with this. It's maybe not something you can use every single day, but I do find the formula to be gentle. And if you are like curious to start your your retinoid journey and you want to start really like gentle and slow on your skin this can actually be used all over your face so let's talk moisturizers now and i want to kick it off with the purito dermide balancing barrier balm so i really love that purito honored the word balm and really stuck to it because i do find it slightly harder to find really occlusive k-beauty products and this is a really occlusive K-Beauty product, which is so great, especially because we're definitely discovering the benefits of slugging and putting on a nice occlusive on top of all of our skincare to seal everything in. That's super helpful, but even just to serve dry skin, you know, just sealing moisture into your skin is so important if you have dry, flaky, itchy skin. Sealing it all in is really important. A balm type of texture is really ideal. Not everybody wants to slather their face in Vaseline. Like, am I right, right? So this has a much more elegant Elegant type of texture to seal everything in it feels so good on the skin while it is very occlusive it still has breathability it doesn't feel like it's clogging up your pores or anything so I think that like I love the dermide line because it is all focused on calming soothing skin and building up a strong moisture barrier I'm all about the ceramides this is all about the ceramides too but I love that it is um, kind of serving a little bit of a different audience um, with that balm texture this video would not be complete if I didn't talk about the Inkey List Urea 10% Moisturizer because I've been talking about this all like like all fall and all winter, right? You know, urea is one of my favorite ingredients, especially because I do um, get eczema flare-ups occasionally and one of the best ways to soothe the itch with eczema is with urea. It is so good for soothing itchy, dry skin, but it's also very helpful if you have rough, dry patches on your skin too, like an eczema a patch definitely um, but even if you just get like really dry rough calloused hands or feet urea is a great ingredient that helps to break up all the keratin that holds all the dead skin cells together in those rough patches it helps to break up the keratin which helps to break up the rough patches urea is also a natural moisturizing factor it hydrates your skin so it's also good for your skin barrier and skin health like I could go on and on it's amazing while it can be used as a full face moisturizer this just gel cream textures is a little bit too light for my particular skin type. I just use this as needed. I use it a lot on my hands to keep them in good shape. I use it a lot on um, little areas that feel a little dry and irritated. Um, I just use it as needed as a multi-purpose cream and this is, like I said, more people need to know about this ingredient so I'm really glad that Inky List honored this in their Super Solutions line. Pyongkang Yul Black Tea and Rich Cream. Oh yes, I fell so hard in love with this. The very first time I put this onto my face, I was like, this is the one. <laughs> I have a few moisturizer favorites, you know. I tend to be very loyal to just a handful of products. If you've watched my channel for even a few months, um, but if you've been here for a few years, you know I use the same moisturizers over and over again. It's not every day that I find a new moisturizer that I wanna keep using over and over again. This is one of them. This is so, so good. We do have ceramized cholesterol fatty acids. That is kind of like a must for um, like moisturizers for me. Not always, but like generally it is kind of a must. But the texture of this is what really won me over because it is so elegant. It is so luxurious. It is so buttery. It's rich. It's emollient. And yet it absorbs in the skin so quickly. That is so important for textures, right? I hate when skincare sits on top of my skin. And I like to put a lot of skincare on my face, but I don't like it all to sit on top. I want it to absorb in. This has great absorbency. Um, it really just does all of its moisturization inside of the skin. It doesn't leave your skin like really shiny or greasy at the top. It really has great just like melt in absorbency into your 
your skin, lots of moisturization. Mmm, makes your skin feel so, so good. I also have to do a shout out to the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I did not think I was going to like this product at all, but you know what? This is such a nice drugstore moisturizer. This has that really great occlusive texture to it. It is actually like bordering on a balm type of texture. It reminds me a little bit of the Purito texture slightly, um, but it has this really nice balminess to it. It does contain petrolatum, which is that main ingredient in Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment. That's that great occlusive ingredient excellent for slugging but just really great for sealing in skincare so we have a little bit of that at play and i think that that's why this is so good at just really hugging everything into your skin bringing in some moisturization a little bit of emollient see there's some oils here at play that help to moisturize the skin and then that petrolatum just seals everything in in this really nice balmy type of texture i use this so much in the cold weather um i used it a lot last winter it didn't quite make last year's video um but i used it so much last winter that it definitely deserved a spot this year because I was like oh yeah I need to go buy some more of this because when my skin goes really really dry in the winter this really really does the trick and bonus it is great for your body too so really affordable giant tub of wonderful occlusive moisturizing cream how could you go wrong with that so let's move on to sunscreens and I have to say like in the K beauty world there have been so many good releases of sunscreen this year and last year I think that we're in like this golden period <laughs> of really good sunscreens and it definitely we had to like go through some shiz right to get to this point but I'm always for improvement and I feel like you know K beauty the K beauty industry has really improved um, upon their sunscreens like they are just so good and there's been so many to pick from recently Recently. I've tried a lot of new sunscreens this year, but I really want to kick off my first pick from the sunscreens with the Skin 1004 Hyaluseca Water Fit Sun Serum. Now this sunscreen is so, so good and it is fast becoming one of my favorite sunscreens. I just find myself naturally reaching for this so much and the reason why is because of the texture. Because let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. Even though I sit here and I talk about sun protection and how important it is for you your skincare journey which it absolutely is I have to admit there are some days like I don't really want to wear sunscreen like it's kind of a pain to put it on and it has so much to do with the texture sometimes I just don't want another layer on my face like in the summertime oh my gosh it's so hot it's humid you're already sweating and you're just like trying to rub this sunscreen into your like sweaty face and you're just like no I don't like it just feels kind of gross <laughs> like let me be honest I usually wear it because I know it's good for me, but I'm just saying, it doesn't mean that it's always a pleasant experience. And that's when I'm reaching for this one because this is always a pleasant experience and it really comes down to the texture. It is so, so elegant. It is so light. It is so breathable. It is not greasy. This is actually something when people tell me that they have an oily skin type and they're looking for sunscreen suggestions that don't contain drying forms of alcohol because that's a really great way to get a lighter filling sunscreen, but it could be, you know, irritating for skin. This is the one I tell them to get because the texture is so breathable. It is so light. It absorbs in the skin really quickly, which is actually really important for the sunscreen protection. You really want that film to form quickly and dry down and kind of lock down on your skin quickly. You don't want it to take 20, 30 minutes and like maybe your sunscreen sliding around on your face. That's actually going to compromise the sun protection that you're getting. So I love that this absorbs really quickly. Zero white cast. This is a chemical sunscreen. It's SPF 50 um, PA plus for pretty much all KBD sunscreens at this point have been verified to meet that labeled protection. So we have that here. Um, and it's just all over like a non, a non fussy sunscreen. You know what I mean? Like I just don't have to worry about it. It always feels good on my skin. It always works with my makeup. It never gives me a white cast and it never makes me feel greasy or makes my skin feel heavy. Like winner. Now something else that can be kind of annoying about sunscreen is the price, right? Uh, it definitely can eat up a big portion of your skincare budget. So I'm always looking for really affordable sunscreens. K-Beauty has a, like a huge variety of affordable sunscreens. And recently um, this year I discovered a new one that I absolutely love that is like $10 and under. It is the Cynic Enjoy Super Mild Sun Essence. This is SPF 50 PA plus 4. It's a chemical sunscreen. It is 
is so affordable. This definitely has a different texture than the Skin 1004. It's a little bit more dewy. It's a little bit um, creamier and it actually really is living up to that Sun Essence uh, name because I find Sun Essences tend to have more of that dewier, hydrating, creamier feel on the skin. Maybe something that you could replace your moisturizer with if you don't need a ton of moisture at the end of your skincare routine. This could be a great one. Um, but this actually reminds me so much of an old favorite sunscreen of mine, which was the Claire's, uh, what was it called? UV Airy Sun Essence. Uh, I'm probably saying it wrong. I know they reformulated it recently. I haven't gotten around to try it, but this reminds me of that old Claire sunscreen because I remember when I tried that back in like 2018, it kind of blew my mind that a sunscreen could feel so like refreshing and creamy and an essence like in skincare, like in hydrating and dewy. Um, it really blew my mind so much and I really loved that sunscreen and whatever long story I don't love it anymore and it was discontinued um, but this reminds me so much of why I loved that sunscreen back then um, a much more affordable price way better protection lots of great chemical filters being used here and like yeah you can't knock a sunscreen that doesn't like kill your sun your skincare budget so let's talk about mineral sunscreens next I definitely have to shout out the isn't tree hyaluronic acid natural sun cream now this is something I did a dedicated video on because I I was surprised I loved it so much. I historically don't really like mineral sunscreens because they tend to be quite drying on my skin, um, but this one actually didn't feel very drying, like a little bit drying, but not like full blown drying. And it was something that really suited my skin at a very specific point in time this year where I just seem to have um, a lot of like mild irritation with like any kind of sunscreen that I was putting on my face for a while. Like the chemical filters for some reason just weren't feeling very good good for me and I'm not really sure why but hey skincare is a journey there's ups there's downs our skin is ever changing and you just kind of have to like tune in and tap into what it's telling you so at the time it was saying like hey chemical sunscreens aren't feeling really great right now um, so I did switch over to mineral which was a journey in and of itself but I did find some ones that I really enjoyed and this was the very first one that I really landed on um, and stuck with for a while now there is a bit of a white cast to this although I do think it's on the more minimal side it does seem to calm down um, a little bit after application but it's got a nice texture too because it's kind of like a gel cream type of texture. It's not a super creamy, chalky um, mineral sunscreen, so it's really easy to spread on the face. Um, it's re really breathable. It doesn't feel super greasy or heavy on the skin, and I just really like that it kind of simplified mineral sunscreen. It wasn't super white casty. It wasn't super thick and chalky. It was easy to wear. It was comfy to wear, and it didn't dry my skin out too much, and um, Isn't Tree really does seem to nail their sunscreens because the um, hyaluronic acid uh, sunscreen made it into last year's video and their mineral sunscreen um, is definitely uh, just of the same quality. Next up, I want to talk about treatments and this is kind of my miscellaneous category, I have to admit, um, but I wanted to talk about the Hero Cosmetics Rescue Balm Red Correct. Now the original Rescue Balm, I've been a fan of for a few years, but I love the Red Correct version because there is a green tint added to the cream and that is actually actually color correction for redness on the skin. This is so, so great when you are breaking out and you get that like redness around the pimple, the green. So you get the, the cream that kind of helps mend the skin, help keep it in good shape, help it heal up. And then the green kind of helps to conceal that, that angry redness that you get with those pimples and kind of mask that a little bit. So it's awesome for that, but it's actually like a really great sort of makeup product too, if you will, because the redness is so great for just evening out your skin tone if you have a little bit of redness, which we all do have a little bit of redness, maybe some of us more than others. I do tend to get it under my eyes, around my nose a lot, sometimes like on the sides of my cheek. And like just a little bit of green tint goes a long way to evening that out where I don't feel like I wanna put makeup on my face or use concealer. So I've been really exploring like foundation for looks a lot this year. I don't think I've completely nailed it just yet, but I have to say a product like this really goes a long way to helping um, you feel confident to go out in your bare skin. I have to talk about the Carez Hydrobiome Super Dose Probiotic Face Mask because this 
product is so so good but it also has some like uh, emotional memory attached to this because this is a product that I picked up when I was traveling through Greece this summer it's really great at revitalizing and refreshing your skin when it feels really stressed out and that's where I was at when I discovered this product I was feeling really sun like sun stunned my skin was feeling very stressed from being outside all the time which is not something I normally do but when when in Greece right you want to go exploring and um, I was definitely feeling the heat <laughs> on my skin and it just it really needed to pick me up it really needed a refresher it really needed to be soothed but it also needed to be revitalized and that's exactly what this mask does it has this really nice yogurty creamy type of texture that really does infuse some like comforting moisture into the skin but really a theme that we've found with all the products i've picked this year is really about like non-greasy moisture that's what this is it really infuses the skin with non-greasy but comforting moisture but after 10 minutes you wash this off and you'll notice that your skin is so much more glowy it's so much more smooth refined and revitalized it really gives you that pick me up that quick hit that I think we all look for when we put a mask on our faces like we want to revitalize our skin quickly this mask absolutely does it but then it really delivers some longer term benefits for strengthening your skin microbiome as well so this might be a first for my end of the year videos because I've never included a device before but this one I think really earned its place this year this is the Medicube HR ATS Air Shot device. What a name. This is so freaking cool. And this is something I was really scared to use <laughs> because this is a product that claims to be like a needleless version of microneedling. It claims to help stimulate collagen, um, helping to repair the collagen structure on the skin, fighting the signs of aging, right? Um, or being a preventative measure, but it also claims that because it's opening up the passageways in your skin, it allows for your skincare to absorb into your skin deeper. So like really big claims there, right? And it definitely sounds like a way better alternative to puncturing your face with needles. Like not something that I ever want to attempt, you know what I'm saying? So I was a little scared because I was like, is this gonna hurt? Um, but you know, I was intrigued. So the very first time I used it, um, I was pleasantly surprised that it does not hurt. You do feel some little, some little like pinpricks and things like that. Um, sometimes it will like, if you have a little like baby fuzz on your face, it will kind of like, it will kind of like pinprick more in those areas where there is hair, but generally it really doesn't hurt at all. You just kind of like hover this. It's very close, but you have to hover it very close to your face or tap it in and you will feel a little something, but it's not painful at all. All. Um, don't be like me though. I did use this like every single day and then um, for like a week or so and my skin was like super like stimulated and feeling tiny bit irritated and I was like oh maybe I should read the instructions a little bit closer where they say don't use it every single day. <laughs> Just use it a few times a week. The first thing that I noticed about this is that it actually really helped to refine the look of pores. Now, this was before I discovered the non-acid precursor. Um, this was way before that, but I noticed that like my pores were just looking less stretched out, especially around this area. That's where they're the most stretched out. And I think that's the same for most people. It definitely helped with that. And I do think it helps with some congestion and texture too. And the reason why I think it's been able to help with those things is because it is actually helping my skincare to penetrate deeper into my skin work a little bit more effectively for my skin without irritating it this can be a really nice um, aid to a really well thought out skincare routine and that's kind of how I've been using that that's why I've been appreciating it so much I think and that's why I've been so consistent with it too which is you know you know me like that's not really something that I normally do. I, I tend to use devices for a month or two at the most and then I forget about them, but I've stayed really consistent with this for a really long time and um, I think it's giving me some really great results. So like I said, I, I don't usually talk a lot about devices, but this one, earned its place in this video this year. 2022 has been an amazing year for skincare. We've had some great new releases and some really exciting trends that are coming up in skincare. Like, I just think we're in such an amazing period of time in the skincare world. And um, I really loved this lineup of products, really exciting stuff. I am curious to know, what are some of the best products of the year from you? Let me know in the comment box below. Now, if you watch this whole video, and maybe you've watched my videos before, 
or maybe you're new here, if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting subscribe before you go. If you make it to the end of a YouTube video, it is pretty rare, right? So I feel like we have a thing going. Hit subscribe and maybe consider turning on notifications too. I do release uh, full length videos. I do shorts. I talk all about skincare and I do release a lot of content throughout the week. So turn on notifications and then you'll never be out of the loop. I cannot wait to see you in 2023. I hope you are healthy, you are happy, you are safe, you have a wonderful, fun new year. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.